Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the third. You may hear the rain in the background. It's pouring out. It's pouring, but it's time. It's time for me to do this reading, so we're going to do it. What kind of message do we have? What's coming up? A reality check. That's what's coming up. Truth. Oh, there's two. Knight of Cups underneath it. So, Knight of Cups is somebody that is fake. They're fake. They're deceptive. They're secretive. Very secretive. Very secretive. So, we have a very secretive individual here. May have some addictions. Could be could be alcohol. Could be drinking. Could be drugs. Whatever. Um, this person has been letting themselves go. Very very um, emotionally unreliable. Okay, we have somebody here that is emotionally unreliable. They've been deceiving. They've been very deceptive in their relationship. But this deception is about to be revealed. It's been below the surface. It's been hidden, but you can't hide it anymore. Something, something is about to be revealed about a... You know, this Knight of Pentacles is somebody that uses... This is a user. Somebody that uses other people. Okay? Um, I don't know. You could be cheating could be. This is somebody who sweeps problems under the rug, has been hiding something. Somebody's been hiding something, and it's about to be revealed, okay? The truth is about to be revealed in some way. Now, the moon reverse could be a mental imbalance. It's paranoia. Somebody's mental imbalance could, uh, you know, s uh, cause them to do something out of their emotions. You know, they they can't master their emotions, so they could do. They could be emotionally charged in some way. It's pouring. Interesting. It's pouring out. So there's a flood of emotion right now. There is a flood of emotion. So somebody is really feeling. In their feelings. Somebody is really, really in their feelings right now. There's some sort of self-deception, there's sneaky behavior, and there's a mental imbalance. You could have somebody here that is delusional. Oh, the world reversed. Now, the world reversed is uh, lacking goals, lack of will, uh, very frustrated, refusing to explore new avenues. We have somebody here that is stuck. They're at the end of something, but they're refusing to move on. They're refusing to change. They're staying in a situation that is probably already over, but they refuse to acknowledge it. They refuse to acknowledge that this season is over, this chapter is over, this phase is over, this project is over, this whatever it is is over. It's over, but they refuse to acknowledge it. They may be self-medicating here, whatever. There's an at attitude adjustment that is needed. Somebody needs to accept and cut their losses, but they can't. I do feel like we have some sort of addiction here that is helping them to bury or hide the truth, hide the feelings. I think we have somebody here that is, that is distraught. I feel like they're distraught. And they may be distraught be that something has come to an end or it's coming to an end. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. There's no closure. You know, there could be some unfinished business here that needs to be dealt with, but we have somebody, this could, I mean, this could, we could be dealing with a womanizer, somebody that is a user, it could be narcissistic, narcissism, something like that. Um, we have somebody here that is very unrealistic. Hmm. 
Empress reverse. We have an absent mother here as well. Somebody could have grown up without a mother. This could go all the way back to the child, to your childhood, you know, that has caused a mental imbalance. This is an absent mother. This is an absent mother. Now, this could even be, I hate to say it, but when you, I mean, I'm going to tell you the truth, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but the Empress reverse can be a loss of a child. Okay? It can. Because, you know, sometimes there's mothers that don't take care of themselves and they don't take care of their children. They don't know what love is. They don't know how to love, you know, whatever the case is. I mean, the Empress in reverse is, is pain, in a lot of pain, you know. Um, the Empress reverse, there's lack of unconditional love here. There's a lack of love. And maybe there's a lack of a mother's love, you know, that has caused somebody to bury their feelings with addictions. I mean, it looks like there's addictions here or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be addictions, but we have somebody here that's been hiding their feelings. They don't know how to express their feelings. Um, they may be very controlling. There's a level of indecision here as well. Um, now, this is refusing to give, this is refusing to move on. And this is refusing to give birth to a new life for somebody. Okay, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The Empress in reverse, if it is a person, say it's you. Say it's you. Say if you're, I say if it's your, if it's your woman, okay? I don't consider this a man. I just don't, all right? I know we have masculine and feminine and all that shit, but I consider the Empress a woman, and I don't care what any other readers say. Had somebody compare me to another reader today in one of my comments, I don't, please. I am not like any other reader. Save it. So, anyhow, the Empress reversed. That's an absent mother. It's a, And it's also a woman that uh, doesn't know her value. She doesn't know her value. She is very forceful. Um, she doesn't take care of the house. She doesn't take care of herself. Um, she's lazy. We have lazy a couple times here. So we definitely have some sort of laziness here. Um, the Empress in reverse has affairs. Okay. She doesn't know her value. She needs constant attention. So she, she involves herself in third party situations or has affairs for attention. And she might do that because nobody took care of her when she was a child. Whatever the case is. I don't know. Um, but, uh, the Empress in reverse is a mess is a mess. Um, somebody that has a very poor self-image. Um, there is some sort of, this is a truth that is coming out. May have something to do with a mother, could have something to do with a wife. Um, there could be some deception cheating here. There definitely could be some cheating here. If there's, if, if there's a woman that has been cheating, She's going to get caught, okay? She's getting caught if there's a woman that has been cheating. She's been caught, okay? Um, or she's going to get caught. The truth is going to come out about this woman, all right? If you are the man watching this, that was for you. If you are the woman watching this, you need to know your value. You need to know your worth. Don't lie to yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Be honest with yourself. Do you want to get into relationships that are going nowhere because you don't know your value? Okay, that's what we have here. So, I mean, we have a relationship that is not growing. It's not growing the way it should. There's no success in that relationship. But somebody is flogging a dead horse. They're hanging on to that relationship. Why? Maybe because of fear. Anyhow, um, illusion, you know, the moon is all about illusion. Uh, justice, reverse. And no, my card is not reversed. My, my cards, my deck is not reversed. I know a lot of you people are going to, oh, your deck is reversed. No, my deck isn't reversed. Like I said, I'm not like any other reader. Justice reversed. So this is an imbalance, which I knew that it was. We definitely have an imbalance, mentally imbalanced. We have somebody here that is very, uh, 
mentally imbalanced. This person doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Uh, is lying. We have a liar. We definitely have a liar here. And I, there's the truth is about to come out. The truth, some sort of lie that has been hidden is about to come out if it hasn't come out already. Uh, whoever this empress is, that doesn't care she doesn't care the empress in reverse doesn't care doesn't care okay she doesn't she she her is going to get some karma okay and it ain't good karma okay it's bad karma okay, this female is going to get some sort of karma. She may be, uh, there, this is being, now there could be some legal implications here. Something is not going to go in her favor. This is something not going in her favor. This is an injustice. There's been some sort of injustice here. Somebody has done something that is against the law. And there's a such thing as universal law. And that's where karma comes from. So somebody has done something that is against the law. Okay. Um, it's not fair. It's an injustice. So whoever this person is, and I feel like this person uh, involves themselves in affairs. This is somebody that doesn't care. Okay, this person really, really doesn't care if there's another contract. Doesn't care if there's another relationship. All they care about is themselves. The Empress in Reverse is somebody who is self-absorbed. Very self, very selfish. Very, very self-absorbed. All they, this person needs is very. Uh, needy needs constant attention so doesn't really doesn't care if there's another person just you know needs that gratification so whoever this person is is going to be basically judged I know this is justice but when you go through the court system there's judgment I feel like this person is going to be getting some sort of karma it's a reality check it is definitely a reality check uh, this, there could be even a legal loss here, okay? Somebody is, this is some sort of loss. Is not going to be happy with the outcome. So we could have a mother or, uh, I don't know who it is. Well, it's, it's a female, just so you know. And if it was a male, I'd let you know. But I, I, have, a, I have a strong in inclination that this is a female. That is going to reap... <laughs> Uh, some consequences for not uh, caring what uh, about her actions. Okay, not caring, not caring who she hurt. So whoever this this female is is about to receive some sort of karma. You know, this is the this is the female that it does get into third parties. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if you're married long as I'm getting attention that's who this woman is okay so uh, anyhow um, or I don't care if you're in a relationship you don't have to be married because this is a relationship the relationship isn't growing and karma okay will not reward this whore okay they, they I'm just telling you Maybe for a minute, maybe maybe for even a year, maybe even two years, maybe even three years, but not long term. There will be no long term success because karma never loses an address for the whore. Just saying. So anyhow, um, so justice reverse. This is not fair. So there's there's I feel like there's a there's somebody. That has been found, they've been judged. Remember, judgment's been coming and they've been found guilty. They've been found guilty for not caring. Ah, oh, you didn't care. You were able to hide it for so long. Can't hide it anymore. Okay? So, therefore, the relationship isn't going to end successfully because you lied. It was deceptive from the beginning. Okay, so that's the way it goes. So anyway, and this is the very much universal, okay? Universe, 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 universe. Four majors, one minor. That means, that, like I've been telling you, the universe is in control. The universe is in control. The universe sees all.
Now, this is this is blaming everybody else. Not my fault. It's his fault. He didn't tell me. He was flirting with me. I see the flirting. Yeah, he, you know, that kind of thing. You have to be held accountable for your actions. You played. So there's somebody that is about to be held accountable for their actions. You know, it's not my fault. Bullshit. Anyhow, so the universe is here, okay? The universe is in control. When you have all minors or mostly minors, that means it's your call, okay? When you have mostly majors, the universe is in charge. So the universe has been watching this female lie, deceive, uh, place blame, not be held accountable. Justice reversed. Dishonesty. They've watched this person lie. Take no accountability. Interesting. Wheel of Fortune. Upright. Another universe card. Change. Change is coming. Okay, this is positive change. This is destiny. This is karma. This is a cycle. This season is over. Okay, things are about to change. The universe is spinning the wheel. Okay, they're spinning the wheel in another direction. Somebody has been refusing to let go. They've been refusing to cut their losses. They've been doing a lot of lying. I can see that they've been lying a lot. Um, not my fault. Oh, baloney. Anyhow, Wheel of Fortune. That is a change in direction. A change is coming. It is a positive change. This cycle is over. Oh. Oh, the star reversed. The star reversed is why me? Poor, poor, pitiful me. It is. It is. Somebody may be saying, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Because you didn't act with integrity. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't act with integrity. You didn't do the right thing. You didn't, you weren't honest. You broke the universal law. That's why. This is this is uh, illness, arrogance, depression, being ashamed, being found guilty. We have somebody here that was tested. Their integrity was tested, and they didn't pass. And now it's like they're feeling depressed and they're sad and. They have no faith, and it's like they're begging for help, but no help is arriving because they broke the universal law whenever they did, whatever. That's, karma works in mysterious ways. We have karma here. Anyway, there's no help arriving for this person, okay, that uh, didn't care about any other contracts. They didn't care uh, uh, who they hurt. So anyway, um, the Wheel of Fortune is a positive change though. Things are definitely about to change. This is over. It's over. That cycle is over. This was about a lesson. The world card is a lesson being learned. And this was a, somebody is being taught a lesson right now. This may be a home wrecker, somebody that tried to break up a marriage or a contract or something like, or they did, they did. They may have even, you know, succeeded, but short term, short term success here. They may have succeeded for a minute. Anyhow, now they're, it's like they're begging for help. They, they want, they, this isn't fair. This, you know, they want, they're looking for some sort of something to go in their favor. And it's not, life isn't changing for the positive because they didn't make a positive choice in the past. This is about the past. Okay. Their past karma is coming to bite them in the ass. 
So their relationship that they got involved in isn't working out. All right. Anyhow, we have a relationship that is not growing. This person is not moving forward. It's coming to an end. This person is refusing to let go. But life is always changing. The wheel is spinning. The wheel is spinning in a new direction. Nobody is coming to save this situation. Okay, they're not. There, you know, there could be some illness. This person may have may 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 be getting ill, may be getting really really sick. Like I said, karma works in mysterious ways. They may be getting sick because of their previous actions. Six of Cups about the past. This is definitely I knew that it was. This Empress in reversed did something in their past. There's also a lot of memories here. There's going to be a lot of memories that are resurfacing in the next day or two. Okay? Now, I have to tell you, I mean, karma, this is karma. It's not good. Okay, I don't care. You guys don't have to like it. I don't have to like it. Something is not going to go in this woman's favor. And it could be losing somebody from her past that she has a lot of memories for it with. Because this is like a loss or termination of some sort. It is. No growth. Something didn't grow the way that it was supposed to. It's because she didn't nurture it. She didn't take care of it. She didn't even take care of herself. She didn't know her value. She did something that was against the law by the looks of things. Now there's memories here. There's a lot of memories here. There's nostalgia. It looks like she's sad. Okay, this, this woman is sad. She's sad remembering, you know, the good times, remembering the fun, you know, thinking about it a lot, wishing, but the, her wishes are not being fulfilled, wishing, you know, that somebody would come in her direction, but it looks like nobody is coming, just saying. Anyway, so the Six of Cups memories of the past memories of love so this empress is sad remembering the love and and uh, so this is what's come this is to come right something is about to be revealed it's been it's been it's going to be emotional, okay? Emotional, emotional, emotional. It's definitely, it's going to be emotional the next couple of days. It's going to be emotional. Somebody could be leaving. There could be no closure. Lack of closure. Uh, leaving without saying goodbye. That kind of thing. There's a lack of wish fulfillment because there's a lack of integrity. No integrity, no wish fulfillment, no long-term wish fulfillment. But that ten of the tens are completions. This is the end of a cycle. The end of a karmic cycle. That's exactly what it is, too. So it is something is coming to an end. And somebody's going to be saying, why, 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 why? That's what this is. Why? Why didn't this work out? Didn't work out because you can't go hurting other people. A lot of people think, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's not. That's selfishness. That's lack of morals. Lack of integrity. That stuff doesn't go unnoticed by the universe. You know, there could be some children involved here. Just saying. Four of Swords reversed. 
Now, Four of Swords reverse is extremely fed up, tired, exhausted, ill. Somebody's sick. Somebody is really, 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 really sick. They're ill. Extremely sick. They may need a hospital. They may need to go to the hospital. They may end up in the hospital. We have somebody who probably can't get out of bed. They've been depleted. They are definitely depleted. Karma works in mysterious ways. A lot of frustrations here as well. There's health issues. We have somebody here whose health is not doing well. It's because of something they did in the past. This person has a, is having a very hard time, you know, getting out of bed. Tired, 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 you know, very tired. You know, and it feels like... Uh, <laughs> This looks like prison to me. It does. It looks like prison. This is like not good. Somebody has been in a mental prison, or they could maybe this may feel like prison or uh, isolation, or they may they may be being isolated. There's a this is like isolation, mental prison. This is mental. We definitely have a mental imbalance here. We have somebody here that is not is losing their mind. This person is losing their mind. They're, 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 something is going on here, mentally. Okay, mental imbalance. We have mental imbalance here. Somebody is, uh, it feels like they're dying, honestly. I mean, I'm just being honest with you, but, um, and it, it could be, they could feel that way. You know, they may feel like that. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. I can't, you know, it, it's like a, uh, near death experience it hurts so bad that kind of thing or it's so painful it's so lonely there's a lot of loneliness here now there is legal this is legal. So there could be some legal uh, implicate consequences that are coming. Somebody could end up in prison or jail. Okay. With this right here. I don't, they could, you know, they just could. So be prepared for that. We could have a mother that has her child end up in jail. Or prison. Anyway. Let's get one more card. Um, emperor. The Emperor. Now this is, now I was going to clarify, that's why I put it over here, I was going to clarify the Knight of Cups reverse. This is somebody that is very controlling. It may have something to do with a father, business owner, boss, husband. Uh, this is somebody that is a planner, okay? Somebody that makes a plan and follows through, takes action. So this person is a ruler, a judge, um, somebody in a position of authority that is making a decision. And this could be the Mars energy that we are going through right now. That's exactly what it is. So this this, it's, this Mars energy is, is forcing a change. So somebody is about to... Uh, this plan, and this is a universe card. There's a plan. The universe has a plan. So the, somebody is going to be, and somebody may be going to jail, rehab, something like that. Um, they may be ordered to. But this could also be a loss, okay? It could, because this could be the loss of a child, and this could be, this is the death of an idea or a person. This isn't fair. Why is this happening? Get prepared for a change. It is actually a positive change that has been avoided. Good luck.